it's time for another story time with Nana. Are you ready? This story is a story that Nana used to love when I was a little girl. It's called Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running and I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Oh, look at Alexander. He does not look very happy at all. He's had a morning already. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast box, and Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. See, years ago, they used to put toys and prizes in cereal boxes. They don't do that anymore. But his brothers both got a toy in their cereal boxes and he just got cereal. So he decided he wanted to move to Australia. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Oh, he is not having a good day yet, is he? At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. Well, cause look, he actually drew a picture of a sailboat and you can't see his picture of a castle because he either didn't draw one, which I'm pretty sure he didn't, or he used invisible ink to draw it because you can't see it. At singing time, she said, I sang too loud. At counting time, she said, I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Oh, poor Alexander. He is just having a day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was the next best friend and I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. Oh, so his best friend said he wasn't his best friend anymore and so he hoped bad things to happen to him. That wasn't very nice of Alexander, was it? There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to pack in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. So his mom did not pack him a dessert, but packed everybody else, their moms, packed a dessert for them. Mm -hmm. That's what it was, because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. 
Because remember, he said that he was going to move to Australia because he was having such a bad day. On my way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot. And while we were waiting for my mom to get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then, when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby. And, oh look, he was pushed and fell in the mud. And so now he's all muddy. And so he started to cry. And his brother called him a crybaby. While I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. So he was punching Nick because he pushed him in the mud, but mom didn't see Nick that pushed Alexander in the mud. And so Alexander was the only one that got in trouble. I am having a terrible horrible, no good, very bad day. I told everybody, no one even answered. So he told them that he was having a very bad day and no one even answered him. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones and with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with red stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. Oh, he wanted different ones, but they didn't have the ones he wanted. So he had to have just white ones, but he didn't want to wear them. When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copying machine. But I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk. And I was careful as could be, except for my elbow. He also said, don't fool around with his phone. But I think I called Australia. My dad said, please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. So because Alexander did all of that stuff, his dad didn't want them coming to pick him up anymore. There were lima beans for dinner. I hate lima beans. There was kissing on TV. I hate kissing. Ew, kissing. Nana likes lima beans, but not everybody likes lima beans. He was having such a terrible day. No, look, he's in the bathtub and there's his little ducky. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain. I had to wear my railroad trade pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. He got soap is in his eyes and his marble went down the drain and then he didn't want to wear these pajamas. I actually like those pajamas. I think they look pretty cool. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep, and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out, and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not with me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says some days are like that. Yeah, it's true. Some days are bad, aren't they? I just don't know why sometimes, huh? Even in Australia. So even if he went to Australia, he would probably have a bad day. The end. So we can have bad days. It's okay to have bad days. But that doesn't mean every day is going to be a bad day. You will have a good day. I love you so much.